Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today is the long awaited video that I have put off filming for quite a long time now um, and you guys have definitely noticed <laughs> As I knew you would, but I needed to make this when I was ready to make it um, and today I just felt ready to let you guys know. So those eagle-eyed amongst you have certainly noticed because I've had DMs, I've had comments on Instagram, comments on YouTube, comments on TikTok, um, all asking the same question where is smoky so you will notice that across all of my socials there has been a distinct lack of little grey pony um, and a hell of a lot of ginger mare <laughs> um, so it's true smoky hasn't been around for a few months um, but to explain why and to explain what's happened we need to go a little bit back in time uh, to this summer so as you guys know, this year has been a little bit of a rocky one for me and Smokes. Spring, he actually um, started with slight ulcers. He only had half a degree, um, which was very slight, but I'd noticed it quite early. Um, so he was trepped for that um, because we were having some issues under saddle. Um, so he was trepped for that and then he had a month off work and then he came back into work really, really well. And then I took him to Field Farm, which is actually the last video he featured in um, on my channel. And we had a great time. We had a really lovely week. Um, he'd literally only really just come back into work and he was working really, really well. I was super impressed with him that week at Field Farm. So we came back from Field Farm and moved Snip home. And then we decided instead of smokes, because there's no like room at my parents' farm for him, um, and instead of me like going to livery all the time, because that kind of defeated the point of me trying to focus on Snip. So we decided we'd send the smokes to my friend for schooling livery. So for those of you who have seen my videos, you will probably recognise Kate. Um, so Kate Dennis is a fantastic four-star eventer. I did a day in the life with her, and I've done a couple of other videos with her as well, I think. Um, she's a really good friend of mine, and she's an incredible rider. And we'd spoken for on and off about a year about her having Smokey on schooling livery, because um, I thought it'd be really beneficial to him. I've been the only person really to ride him for three years um, and he has come a long, long way in that time and just basically getting him to a good stage but I always kind of knew that he'd never go to the point I wanted him to, like he had a bit of a ceiling. Um, so I wanted to basically see what Kate could do with him. So I sent him over to Kate um, for the summer and he loved it. When I say from the minute I loaded that pony to go up to Ripon, to him getting off the box and being in the stable and just being like, oh, I have never known him so chilled in my life. Like, I don't know what it is about Kate Shard. It's clearly magical. Um, but Smoke settled in straight away and Kate was giving me constant updates about him. So she started by doing a lot of flat work with him and I said, just build him up slowly, like there's no real rush. And I think she had him on school and livery for like six weeks. Um, and he was doing amazing and it was really nice to see what he was like with a very confident rider. He was very, very good for Kate. So it just showed that actually with someone really confident on him, he could do it. I still think he's not a massive fan of jumping like huge heights, but he went around the cross country, he was having fun in the school. Um, Kate did injure her shoulder on her other horse. So then um, her cousin rode Smokey, which again was brilliant for him to have someone else on him. And she really liked him, really enjoyed him. You know, he's so, so fun to ride. I knew anyone would love him. Um, but he is quirky, he was always quirky. Um, but yeah, so he was doing really well and that gave me the time I needed to really focus on Snip. Um, it meant that I only had to go to one place, which was my parents' farm, to see to all the horses. Um, and we basically, I just focused on Snip's rehab and Kate kept me updated about Smokey. So after about the four week mark, um, I saw how well he was doing and it kind of got me thinking whether he'd do better not with me and actually with someone else because if you guys remember, when I bought Snip this time last year, we bought her for the intention of me competing and to basically take that pressure off Smokey. So I've reached the point where I have been bringing on horses 
dealing with injuries and just everything else for about five, six years now. I've not really gone out and competed and done anything for about five years. Um, and that was why we bought Snip, because I was like, right, I'm going to, you know, enjoy my riding a little bit more, go out and do what I want. And obviously that didn't end well, did it? It ended up in surgery. Um, but we weren't to know that Snip had the issue she did. So it wasn't her fault, but basically the entire purpose of getting Snip was to take the pressure off Smokey. And obviously that hadn't happened. So Snip can't compete at the moment. She's still not ready now and it's been, you know, 11 months. Um, so that got me thinking, well, I've kind of, I'm in a situation where I've got two horses at the minute that I can't really compete. Smokes could do low level stuff, but I was never confident enough on him. Um, and I, I always found with Smokey, the more pressure I put on him, the worse he got. Like at home, sometimes he'd be absolutely amazing, but as soon as I sort of we went out to competitions, and I do think it was mainly my confidence, but also his too. We just didn't thrive out in competition environments. I tried and tried, and it just didn't work for us. So I kind of went up to Kate, so we sat down and had a cup of tea, and I was like, right, what do we do? And we went through the options. I didn't want to loan him. I think loaning sometimes can be really difficult. He's a quirky horse, and I needed the right home for him. Um, and also, I'm way too emotionally attached to that pony. Like, it had to be like a clean cut or, you know, it just, it, it had to be like he sold and he's someone else's or he's mine. There was no in between. So we knew loaning wouldn't work. And then we discussed sales. And even now, it makes me want to cry, the thought of like selling a horse. Because you guys know, the reason we've ended up with eight horses is because we don't sell them. Um, I basically had a horrific time selling a horse when I was younger um, that we thought was a fantastic home and it wasn't. But Kate basically said to me she would find me the perfect home for Smokey. Um, and so we did make the decision to put Smokes up for sale. And everything from that point moved stupidly quickly. So I knew I didn't want to sell him via socials because I and I didn't want you guys to know he was kind of up for sale because as much as he's a lovely lovely pony I didn't want him to go to like a young rider or a kid or anything like that I wanted a very different life for him so I wanted someone older mature experienced and I just wanted someone that kind of would just give him a really nice life um, without the stress so I said to Kay I don't care what we sell him for uh, it's not about the money of selling him at all. I said, I just want to find him the best home possible. And I knew I personally couldn't sell him. Like the thought of people coming and trying him and me saying I was selling him literally still makes me want to cry now. Like, I hate selling horses. I don't do it. This is why we've got so many, because I can't sell them. Because um, I just get too emotionally attached. But I knew this was the best thing for me and for Smokey. So Kate also does sales delivery, so I was like, great, you post it um, and you deal with the viewings and if they want to talk to me and they want to know about him, then absolutely they can. So from posting him, literally just on her Facebook, she then had quite a lot of viewings. The first person that came to see him wanted to buy him. Um, they were trying to arrange a vetting and then a more suitable home basically came available. So Smokey has now been sold. He has been in his new home for a couple of months now. He's really happy. He is with a slightly older lady who is mainly hacking him and he loves hacking. And then I believe it's her daughter is also um, doing some little low level jumping with him and just taking him out to little things. Um, so absolutely perfect for Smokes. Um, so Smokes has gone. He's having a great time. And yeah, that's everything that's happened in the last couple of months. And it's, I just wanted to wait until he was settled, until I knew exactly what was happening before I made this video. So thank you all for your patience. Um, I just kind of wanted some time to process it all before I got inundated with questions um, about why I've sold him and everything, but you, now you guys know. And I am a massive believer in that everything happens for a reason and just because one stable door closes doesn't mean another won't open. 
that's all I'm going to leave you with. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video.